Congratulations! You have completed the course on how to strengthen resilience against compound and cascading disaster risks. You started by reviewing disaster risk reduction concepts and finding out the way compound and cascading hazards differ from other hazards. You then went and learned how to perform a disaster risk assessment and discovered the exposed and vulnerable elements in your community that could be affected by compound and cascading disasters. Next, you learn to design resilience strengthening measures to deal with the disaster vulnerabilities and exposure elements of your community. Finally, you learned how to implement these measures into your plans and policies. Although these lessons are brief and introductory in nature, we hope that it will help you better understand compound and cascading disaster risks. Now let's go and apply this knowledge.